and it's my first Halloween video of the year. I have pumpkin spice in my cup. Sippy sippy. I feel like I'm gonna be on vocal rest tomorrow. I had so much fun today filming for TikTok, but sometimes when I film for TikTok, I get extra robust and I yell more than I already do when I'm talking. So I like, I'm, did I do vocal damage today? Maybe, let's find out. Um, also I'm wearing this like funny costume and I was just about to change and put a t-shirt on, but I'm like, I'm doing a Halloween type video. I don't know if we've ever had any Halloween slash vlogoween content. If I've ever uploaded a video like that in September before, I kind of feel like I cannot start, I can't, I can't start waiting waiting till October to make Halloween related videos. I feel like I talk about this now like at least once a year, every single year. I feel like for the past like especially two but maybe three years, like Halloween no joke begins in August. And I thought I would always personally love that because you guys know Halloween, 365 days a year for me. It used to be like an epic treat if I could find one single Halloween item, one single pumpkin in time for my birthday in August. But now it's almost like a little bit much where I feel like all the Halloween stuff has already like come and gone by September. Like I feel like all the stores are about to put Christmas ornaments out any day. I feel like pretty much everything is sold out already. It's kind of like a funky thing where I love seeing and celebrating Halloween sooner each year, but also I kind of miss just being able to go out and about in like September and October and like see Halloween stuff like during the fall time. Y'all, it's still like a hundred degrees here every single day. So my mind is in Halloween, but it doesn't feel like Halloween, you know? It doesn't feel like fall. It still feels like I should be outside barbecuing and swimming in the pool. I don't know. Was that a miniature tea vlog? Pumpkin spice vlog. Today, you guys, I am so excited because I got a special box in the mail from Irregular Choice. Y'all may know if you've been watching shoe unboxing videos, I have loved this shoe brand for a thousand years. I've always gotten like special occasion shoes from this brand, like special Christmas shoes, special Easter shoes. They're the brand that always makes the super fun and funky heels. Heels. Like I show you guys the Godzilla shoes all the time. I got those from a regular choice a million years ago and they are still like some of my favorite, favorite shoes of all time, as well as the music box shoes. Those were like super magical as well. Anyway, you guys, I feel like a couple of years ago, many years ago now, actually, they started not only like coming out with their own like fun and funky shoes, but they are also started doing like collabs with like Disney and and Disney, those are the ones that are like coming to my mind right now where it's like Cinderella, the Mad Hatter's Tea Party, Alice in Wonderland, I couldn't think of what it's called. So uh, this year they had a special Sanrio Halloween crossover collab. So many months ago, they um, let me see a preview of what the shoes were gonna be. And I kind of don't remember which ones I picked, but um, they sent these items over to me, but I did get to pick them out. So there's a couple accessories, um, a handbag and some shoes. So I see the accessories on top. Let's open them up. I think it's a pair of tights. Yes, I'm so excited for these. I don't think I've ever had irregular choice tights, but over the past couple of years, I've really gotten into wearing tights. So I'm so excited to have these and they're chromey. Look at these. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to obviously try them on um, and see what they look like. But these are definitely, in my mind, kind of a cross between leggings and tights. They're much thicker than your normal kind of tights, or maybe it's just that I wear those like, is it called semi-opaque? You know where like you can kind of see 
your skin underneath the tights. So these are a little bit thicker than that. And I also feel like they're gonna be a little bit more like fully opaque with the design to look maybe a little bit more like leggings. But then again, I've never owned a pair and I haven't tried them on yet. The other accessory that I got to pick was a scarf, which is something else that I've never had before. Ooh, it's so soft. Look, okay. Oh my God, that's actually the label. I thought that that was like just a little um, tag, you know what I mean? Like a, a tag that you tear off and discard, but it's not, it's like the label. So we have Hello Kitty, is that a Hello Kitty ghost? We have jack-o'-lanterns, um, Hello Kitty Frankenstein's monster, um, Hello Kitty with a pumpkin hat. Very, very, very cute. So you guys, when it's not a hundred degrees outside. Um, I will be, oh, is that Hello Kitty Dracula? Shoes, I'm gonna show y'all last because uh, I would love to see this handbag. I'm pretty sure that I picked this not only because it's a ghost, but oh my gosh. It is so fuzzy, so fluffy. I don't think I knew that it was gonna be fuzzy. I was gonna say I picked it because not only is it a ghost, but it's also a convertible bag, which I love, especially when I'm thinking I'm gonna be taking this out to go Halloween shopping. So you can turn it into a backpack, backpack? What is that? You can turn it into a backpack, um, a crossbody. And usually bags like this say that there are three way bags What's the third way? Maybe like a handbag if it also has a short strap. I love the metallic. I feel like purple, green, and orange are Halloween colors. I feel like it used to kind of just be like orange and black, but now I really feel like purple and green have also like really jumped into the Halloween world. So here is the strap and it has a velvet interior. Hopefully you guys can see that. We have a couple pockets, so you can put your phone, your keys. Oh, I hope y'all can see the color because it's so pretty. Look at the shoe box. Oh my gosh. See, there was so many different characters that was part of this collection. Little Twin Stars, Karomi. Um, I can't remember if my Melody, because once again, I feel like I got to see the preview of this maybe in like May or June. So it's been a long time, but the style I picked is, does that say pumpkin kitty? Yeah, pumpkin kitty. And I always get a size 38, which usually translates to exactly a US size seven. Let's see what, oh my gosh, look at the paper. It's so pretty. Look at the paper. Oh my god. Look at look at how cute that is. Uh, Ghost Kitty on the shoes. Then we have this adorable pumpkin in the front. And look at that. We also have a little spider just hanging out here. It's like a little um metal spider so cute oh okay it actually feels like the insoles are gonna be pretty comfy sometimes i'm able to wear these shoes like barefoot which is normally the way i wear all of my shoes including these cowboy boots that i have on right now no socks just barefoot inside sometimes because the insoles of irregular choice shoes are also like so embellished and decorated like sometimes they can make my feet like itch a little bit so sometimes i do wear socks but this actually like the logo and everything in there actually feels really soft so i think i'll just be able to wear them barefoot like i would prefer
So there are the soles. Now I feel like a lot of people like collect these shoes and actually don't really wear them or maybe wear them like one time for like a wedding or a super special occasion because they are so, oh, I thought, I was like, wait, is she like winking on one and not on the other? But no, she's winking on both heels. Adorable. I feel like sometimes when I've shown the bottom of my shoes, like, in a shoe collection video or something and they're all scuffed up. I know sometimes that bugs people, but I mean, most of the time I like to actually like wear the things that I have. I feel like it's just more fun and you know, they might get a little scuffed or something. They're not always gonna look like super perfect, but I feel like it's more fun to just like enjoy things and wear them. But I do totally understand people that just want to like collect them and look at them as well. I always feel like irregular choice shoes are like art. They're not really just like normal, typical shoes. You know what I mean? These are absolutely adorable. I feel like there were so many styles that are so tempting and I feel like they actually just launched like yesterday or maybe the day before although i don't know when i'm gonna edit this video so i don't know when you guys are gonna be seeing this video but when i'm filming this video i think they launched just like a day ago so i'm kind of wondering like if they're sold out yet or not i feel like a lot of times in the past these shoes like sell out so so fast anyway you guys i would love to know all of y'all's thoughts and opinions about this collection in the comments down below thank you guys so so much for hanging out today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll be back again very, very soon. Ah.